The virtual schoolyard is a virtual reality simulation for training different attentional abilities in children and adolescents with attentional disorders. Since children with attentional disorders are in general hard to motivate and are easily distracted, we developed an immersive game-like application to keep them engaged and train them to focus their attention on the target at hand. Our tool consists of four modules placed in a virtual schoolyard that address different attention domains. The adaption of the well-known hopscotch game is focused on training the working memory of users. This module requires the user to memorize and repeat a certain sequence of fields, which either glow or are recited by audio. The second module serves the purpose of training the users to focus their attention and reduce their distractibility. The game shows a card with the number 7 or 1 written on it, and a user quickly has to touch the correct card staple it belongs to. While the game progresses, cards appear faster and auditory or visual distractions appear. Users have to learn to ignore such distractions and focus their attention on the cards in order to avoid mistakes. The goal of the third module is to train vigilance. Vigilance is the ability to sustain attention over a longer period of time while waiting for rare target stimulus to appear. In this minigame, the user watches a swarm of yellow and orange butterflies. The target stimulus is represented by a red butterfly that only appears after certain periods of time and has to be caught by the user without touching any of the other butterflies. Our last module is concerned with response inhibition, which is the ability to control one's impulses and resist a certain temptation or urge. The module features an adaption of the well-known Weka Mole game to train response inhibition. Moles are represented as wooden locks that are sent from holes in a wooden table in front of the player. Green locks are the targets that have to be hit, while touching red locks should be avoided, thus inhibiting the pulse to hit these locks. We evaluated the feasibility of our training tool with six adolescents between the age 15 and 18. Participants were showing symptoms of depression, obsessive compulsive behavior, and experiencing psychological distress as somatic symptoms, according to the psychological assessment preceding the study. We used the Technology Usage Inventory Questionnaire to evaluate the perceived usability, accessibility, usage and intention to use of our tool. After testing all four modules, five out of six participants reported to have had a strong sense of immersion in the virtual environment. All except for one participant rated the application as very usable and indicated that they would like to use the technology. These preliminary results show that our tool is immersive, motivating and engaging and therefore feasible for studies with children and adolescents with attentional disorders. Our tool is also currently part of a treatment program in an ongoing clinical study with children with ADHD.